Reflections on the pre-independence Bahamas would be incomplete without mention of his name. Tonight, the country is mourning the passing of former Governor General Sir Clifford Darling and recalling the social and political contributions of a champion of the small man who ascended to the highest office in the land. Sir Clifford, the fourth Bahamian Governor General in an independent Bahamas, passed away in hospital this morning after a short illness. Clint Watson takes a look back at his eventful chapter in Bahamian history. Sir Clifford Darling served as Governor General from 1992 to 1995, succeeding Sir Henry Milton Taylor. But his rise to the highest office in the land was not instant. He lived a full life in public service and championed the cause of workers for years. The former Progressive Liberal Party member of Parliament for Englerston, Sir Clifford was born on February 6, 1922, at Acklands Island to Charles and Aramelia Darling. He attended the Acklands Public School and Public Schools in New Providence. The former taxicab driver served as General Secretary of the Bahamas Taxicab Union for eight years and as President for ten. In the early 1950s, Sir Clifford bargained with hotels for better treatment for taxi drivers. The hotels had their own buses to transport visitors to and from the new Nassau International Airport and other destinations. As a result, many taxi drivers had no passengers except residents to take from the airport. The problem reached a boiling point in November 1957 when the cab union, with Sir Clifford as president, blockaded and closed the airport. A general strike followed in January 1958, with Sir Clifford's help, an agreement among hotels, tour services, and taxicab operators was reached. Sir Clifford was an early member of the PLP. He served as a senator from January 1964 to January 1967, when, in a general election, he was elected to the House of Assembly for the Angliston constituency. He served from January 1967 to October 1969, when he was appointed to the cabinet as Minister of State. In November 1971, he was named Minister of Labor and National Insurance. He was responsible for the introduction of the National Insurance Program on October 7, 1974. Sir Clifford was re-elected to the House for the Angliston constituency in the 1977 general election and was elected Speaker of the House. He was also knighted by the Queen the same year. In the general elections of 1982 and 1987, Sir Clifford was re-elected as a member of Parliament for Angliston constituency and re-elected as Speaker. He was the longest serving Speaker of the House of Assembly from 1977 to 1991. He was also a stalwart councillor, the highest honour that can be bestowed on a member of the Progressive Liberal Party. Sir Clifford was big on family and religion. He has seven children. He married the former Ingrid Smith. He was a member of Zion Baptist Church. He was also a member of the Masonic Prince Hall Lodge and of the Improved Benevolent Protective Order of Elts in the world. Sir Clifford died at the age of 89. Clint Watson, ZNS News.